Hello everyone, this is Henry from UTT Technologies. In this video, I'm going to introduce you how to configure UTT router to act as a DHCP server for two subnets. A company's network uses a UTT router to connect to the internet. The network consists of uh, two subnets, 192.168.160 and 192.168.1.0 and it is required that all the local computers obtain IP addresses from the DHCP server of the router. So let's uh, do the configuration to meet the user's requirement. First, we need to go to basic and click on LAN. We need to add a secondary LAN IP address. Click on yes. Now the LAN has uh, two IP addresses. Next, configure the first DHCP address pool. Click on advanced. Click on DHCP. DHCP server address pool list it has a default address pool it cannot be deleted but it can be edited now I want to edit, edit it click on yes Let's c let's uh, create the second address pool. Let's name it uh, pool two, and start IP address is one nine two point one six eight point one point one, and the number of uh, address is one hundred. Default IP is one nine two point. One nine one six eight point one point one. Click on save. Now I have uh, successfully created up uh, two DHCP address pools. However, by default, the router will assign IP addresses from the first DHCP pool in the DHCP address pool list. That is to say, the router won't assign IP addresses in pool 2 until pool 1 runs out of uh, IP addresses. So how can we do to solve this problem? We need to use menu binding list. Click on new to create a new binding. Since the router won't assign IP addresses in pool 2 until pool 1 runs out of IP addresses. We need to bind MAC addresses to IP addresses in pool 2. We bind to pool 2 and uh, you type in the username you want. Type in the IP address in pool 2 and you put any MAC addresses you want to bind to this IP address and click on save. So after we bind the MAC addresses to the addresses in pool 2, the router will assign IP addresses in pool 2 to the hosts whose MAC addresses are bound to the IP addresses in pool 2. It relies UTT router to act as a DHCP server for two subnets. By the way, the configuration I just talked about just applies to version V10. Since the latest uh, firmware version supports multiple DHCP pool, the configuration I just talked about actually doesn't apply to 
the latest uh, version of uh, UTT router.